In this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I made my first $200,000 online when I was 20 years old. This is a story of how a broke teenager who lived with their parents made slightly more money, but still lives with their parents. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. I do want to put this video out there just to show people what is possible. And I also really enjoyed watching these videos personally, especially back in the day. It definitely gave me a little bit of motivation and it also gave me that extra push to try new things. And that is what I aim to do in this video. But with that being said, I truly believe that if I could do it, you definitely can do it because I'm not some super special or super smart person. So make sure you guys stay to the end of the video where I'm going to be showing you guys how I plan to make even more money this upcoming year using the same exact strategy. I'm going to be showing you guys the exact steps the exact tools and the overall framework all for free and no I have absolutely nothing to sell you in this video I'm just here to share my story and hopefully one of you guys will use it as inspiration to maybe start something that you've been putting off or just try something new and get out there and maybe start your own venture so before we jump in if you could just kindly like the video maybe leave a comment and also subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and it would also help this channel grow tremendously as I am trying to post more this year so jumping right into things so as any young person trying to make money I hopped on Google and I did end up trying a lot of things. I ended up trying drop shipping, flipping items. I tried stocks and much more. And to be frank, a lot of these things were not really great and I didn't make a ton of money. During this time period, my brother actually introduced me to the world of cryptocurrency. And this is where things started to change just a little bit. But essentially, my brother brought up the idea of cryptocurrency and I started doing a lot of research and it did make sense to me. So as a result, I took all of my money and I threw it all into the cryptocurrency market. I was buying Bitcoin. I was buying Ethereum and a ton of altcoins as well. And you might be thinking, this is how I made all of the money, but that is actually not the case at all. In fact, in my first couple of months of investing, I lost so much money and basically everything that I threw into the market got cut in half. I basically entered at the top of the market and everything started to fall drastically. And I was embarrassed. I felt sad and I didn't even want to tell my mom and dad because I thought they'd be a little bit disappointed in me. Emotional damage. And to put things into perspective, I basically had roughly $10,000 that I threw in and I was saving this money from my graduation money, my birthday parties ever since I was like 10 years old. And like I said, all the other money that I made working and I basically watched it go down and down. And that feeling really, really does suck. But I think I did also learn a lot of lessons in that. And I definitely think I deserved to lose all of that money because I was acting kind of like an idiot. My strategy was basically to buy anything and everything. However, that ended up getting me burned and that did suck a lot. However, one thing that led to another and I did see people talk about something called NFTs because I was in the cryptocurrency space. And if you guys don't know what NFTs are, it's essentially a picture or you could think of it like a trading card on the blockchain that you could buy, sell or trade. And I know that this is a little bit of a controversial topic. I personally thought they were the stupidest things at first as well. However, there was so much excitement and hype in the space. I thought it was worth a shot because I was down so much money as well. So like I said, I tried cryptocurrency. I did lose a decent amount of money over the first couple of months. And when I jumping into NFTs, things were basically the same. I jumped in really, really not knowing anything, just trying to figure things out, scrolling through Twitter, watching a couple of YouTube videos. And I ended up losing even more money. Uh, I didn't even think that was possible at the time. And I felt like such an idiot and it sucked because it kind of felt like I was just on a long losing streak. And I definitely did want to give up and I was just so, so frustrated. But what made me even more frustrated is I saw people posting on Twitter saying they made so, so much money and it felt like I was the only person missing out. And I did try a lot of different things as well. And that's when I found a strategy that personally worked for me. Essentially, I noticed one trend that was happening in the space. In the NFT space, I saw a lot of collections move up in value and it seemed almost random which NFTs would move up, which NFTs would go down. But it did seem like the same people were making profits over and over. So when I jumped into the space, I made a ton of mistakes, lost a lot of money. But I figured if I could find Find the top people in the space who have a lot of influence, who have a good track record and are smarter than me, I could hopefully do the same thing that they're doing and make a profit. And the best thing about this is in cryptocurrency and in NFTs, there is a open ledger. So basically you could see everyone's receipts. You could see what they're buying, when they're buying and when they're selling as well. So I figured if I could find these people and find their wallets, I could basically track them and copy trade with them. I could buy what they're buying and sell when they are selling. And hopefully I would come out with some money. So my brother, ended up hitting up his friend and he is super, super smart. Uh, he does go by goof 
on Twitter, but he was able to make us a Discord bot. And all we had to do was type in the addresses we wanted to track and it would ping us when they were buying and when they were selling. And basically all we had to do was copy their trades. So after implementing this strategy for the first time, we were actually starting to make some money. I remember I made a flip on a NFT called the Doge Pound and I made over $1,000 on just one image. So this time in the market, there was so much opportunity and a lot of collections were also going up at the same time. This is probably when the strategy was working the best. And another example is a collection called Mutant Ape Yacht Club. And I believe I did make around $8,000 uh, just through one flip. So we were making thousands and thousands of dollars on every single trade. And when everything was said and done, uh, this is actually how I made the $200,000 in profit. So essentially I was able to regrow my portfolio using this one strategy and tactic. After losing so much money, it was kind of nice to actually make some of it back and end up even in the profit. And for me at the time, just getting out of high school, this was pretty good money for me. And I have never seen numbers like this before. It was ridiculous. So over this time period, I did start posting YouTube videos. I was posting on Twitter and more people also started using the strategy that I was talking about. And as the market did become more mature, people were all tracking the same wallets. And on top of this, shortly after the whole entire NFT market did end up collapsing. And so this strategy did become a lot more risky and it actually wasn't profitable after a while. So that story was from a couple of years ago and now the cryptocurrency market is absolutely heating up. So for me personally, I'm gonna be using this same exact strategy, but not really applying it to NFTs because a lot of them are down a lot. However, I'm gonna be using this exact strategy to track people in the altcoin space or even the overall cryptocurrency space. So over the past couple of weeks and months, I have been gathering a watch list of people that I think are smart traders or influencers, etc. And I've basically been watching those addresses and seeing what they do and how profitable they are. I'm also analyzing their track record again. And I plan to use the exact strategy I used back in the day on these new altcoins and even maybe meme coins as well. So you might be asking, that sounds good and all, but how do I actually set up my own watch list? What apps do I need to use, etc. So we're going to be diving into that right now. All right, guys. So now I'm going to give you one example of how you could use this strategy to possibly make money. And during the time of recording, this YouTube video, a lot of these meme coins or altcoins are going absolutely crazy. And similar to NFTs, you might not like it. I personally don't really like it, but there's just so much hype and excitement in the space and people are making tons and tons of money. So I'm going to be showing you guys a practical example of how you could track wallets and use this to your advantage. This is a meme coin called Mog. Yes, a lot of people think it's the future of finance. I personally think it's just dumb and a little bit silly, but who am I to judge? But essentially this coin took off massively and there is a huge, huge, pump. Um, if you were able to get in at these levels, you definitely made a lot of money. So I am using a site called dextools.io here, and you can actually go on this website and find a lot of the top trending coins. As you guys can see here, scrolling through the top, there's Floki, Trump coin, but essentially you could go to a popular coin like Mog. And over here, there is a icon called bubble maps, and you can just click this over here and it's going to take you to their site. And essentially it's going to put in the Mog coin and you can actually see the whole entire wallet list. So you can see like the number two holder over here and you can see much, much more of the top holders in the section. You could also see wallets that are connected with each other. Maybe there is a pattern there that you could check out, or maybe there's something you could try to decipher. But essentially what I would do is I would personally go through some of the top wallet addresses and see how profitable they are because a ton of these guys are up six, seven figures on a meme coin, which is absolutely ridiculous. And a lot of the times what you'll find is they're actually up a lot on other similar coins. So maybe some of these addresses are just really smart and good at trading meme coins, or maybe they have some sort of inside information that they're using to their advantage. So I would definitely go ahead Ahead and inspect these addresses and see if you could find a pattern and see their whole entire track record. So for example, we could look at MogCoin and one of the top holders, number five here is unsustainable.eth. So you can come over here, click this button and copy his address. And then this is where you're going to want to go into your next section of tools. So for initially finding these addresses, you want to use Dex tools and bubble maps. Um, a third one would also be Nansen.ai. I personally use them a ton and I just do the free trial version actually because it's much, much cheaper. But overall Nansen over here, as you can see, is a great, great website. If you could afford the full time, I would definitely get it. If you don't want to pay for the full time and want to keep switching addresses, uh, you definitely can. I will probably upgrade though in the near future. But but basically you could take the wallet address and enter it here as I have. Um, and you could see this guy made 
realized PL $228,000 on the Pepe token, around $100,000 on the Tuka token, um, and $3,000 on Mog. And this is realized profits. He probably has a lot of unrealized profits as well. So this is overall somewhat of a profitable wallet. I think it's semi interesting as well. So I could actually copy this and throw it into a tracker if I think that it is worthwhile. You guys can decide what is worthwhile in your personal opinion. I mean, you could track a ton, a ton of addresses. So once you found a list of addresses that you like, I personally use a platform called Cielo and you could just input these addresses and it'll tell you exactly what they are doing. Uh, it is also free, so you don't have to be paying any money. And there's also a lot of trackers. That is just the one I use. Nansen also does provide one, but that is basically it. And you have your whole entire system and tracker set up. So you guys can definitely try that if you do want to. And this is just one practical example that you guys can take a look at. But if you guys want to try this out, uh, you guys definitely can. Definitely not financial advice, but I do think that this is overall super interesting and that is just my plan for the next coming months and years. If you guys do want the exact list of addresses, I will be posting them on Twitter very shortly. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on there. I will also be posting a lot of useful threads as well, but I hope that this was simply explained and I hope that you guys got some value out of it. I am also planning on doing a trading series where I actually put this into action and I actually document the whole process, whether I lose or win money, I'll be sharing it with you guys. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to like the video and also subscribe down below. And remember, if I can make money on the internet, you guys can definitely do so as well. So if you're interested in doing it, just go for it. So that's basically it. God bless. Goodbye. Woo.